Hello everyone and welcome to another SQL training session with Learn at Nostar. In today's session, we are going to discuss the SQL query in which we are going to find out how many times a particular substring occurs in a column value or in a string value in a column. Now we have done a similar video earlier in which we counted the number of times a character appeared in a string. There is a link above to that video so you can check that out. We are going to follow a similar approach. The only difference is that this time we are going to count the number of occurrences of a particular substring string so for example let's get started with this string so we have a string of concatenated values of yes and no in that string and we want to find out how many times yes appears in this so let's say there's a scenario in which a candidate has answered the questions as yes or no we want to find out how many times he has answered it as yes and this value is coming as a single value in a column so let's get started Step one is I'm just going to declare this in a variable so it's easy for us to work. Declaring a variable has this format. You write the declare command and then you put an add to denote that it's a variable and give it a name. So let's just call it add string. And then you have to define the data type of that variable. So this is going to be as varchar, let's say 50. And this is the value that we are going to give it to it. Since it's a string, we have to put it within quotes. So this is how we can define a variable value. Now the next variable that I am going to define is what we need to replace. So in this case, we are replacing the substring yes. So that is what I'm going to define as the value for this variable. So I'm just going to define yes over here. Okay, now let's get started with the actual SQL query. So the approach that we are going to take is that we are going to first replace all the yes that appear in the original string with a blank value or an empty string. And then once we have replaced that, we are going to do a length count on the original string, which is this one and the string in which we have replaced all the yes. So we will only be left with the no and the commas in between and then we are going to find the difference between the two lengths and then let's see what the next step would be so let's get to this step first so i'm just going to do a select and then i'm going to perform let's let me just perform a replace first so replace function is simply to replace any particular string value or character value in the original string so once you start typing replace it will prompt you with the syntax that you need to follow for that so expression to be searched is your original string so in our case it is going to be this variable at string and the next parameter that you need to pass is the search expression. The search expression for us is the replacement that we want, the string that we want to be replaced. And what do we want it to be replaced with? We are going to replace it with an empty string. So this is our replacement over here. So now if I just run this query, then I will get a string which has all the yes replaced in it. Now I'm going to do a length on this and a length on the original string as well. So I'm going to do a length on the original string which is at string and I'm going to do a length. So if the function for length is len. I'm going to and you just pass the, sub, the string as the parameter to that and I'm going to do a length on the replacement or replace string as well. So now if I execute, you will see that there is a difference in length, the original string, the length was 17, the string with the replace yes values has a length of 8. So now I'm just going to subtract this one, which has no yes in it with the original string. So what I will essentially get is, um, okay, let's see what we will uh, essentially get over here. So if I just do all like this, okay what is the result that I'm going to get if I execute this query okay we have to since we are working on variables we have to run the declare part as well what I've got over here is 9 okay so basically I have got the length of um, the remaining characters or the remaining uh, substrings in the original string 
but my aim is to count the number of times yes occurs so yes obviously occurs if we count in the original string only three times whereas what we have got is nine so if you observe over here what we have got over here is three times the value yes appears in the original string and that three times it has chosen based on the length of this particular substring that we are replacing which is yes so the next step over here is to divide it by the length of the string that we are replacing okay so I'm just going to do a division simple division and I'm going to divide it by the length of okay let's bring it down at rep function so that is all that I'm going to do over here and now what we should be getting is the correct answer which is so now if you run this you will get the correct answer okay so if you're just replacing a character you do not need to do perform this division because essentially you are dividing by one which is going to give you the same result as what you get just by subtracting but when you are replacing a substring then you need to divide by the length of the substring so let's just change it let's say that instead of yes now we want to count how many times no occurred and we want to actually replace no so i have changed the replacement as no then how many times does no appear in a query it appears two times if i do not run the division part if i only run it till here let's see what is the output that we get the output that we are going to get is okay the output that we are going to get is four which is again double the times no appears and that is because it has multiplied just multiplied by the length of no and whereas if i run this whole query i will get the correct output so this is basically the difference between when you are counting the number of occurrences of a particular character you do not essentially need to divide it by the length of that uh, character because it is one and when you are trying to find out the number of occurrences of a substring you need to define it by the length to get the correct answer so this is how it can be done. It is pretty simple and it is very easy. I hope that you liked this video. If you did, then please do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel because we will be posting many more videos soon. Thanks a lot for watching. Goodbye.